Hello everyone, I'm pulling out an evening primrose and welcome to Matt Becker Video. Uh, so we're at the edge of my property right now. Uh, this is where we planted some wildflower mix last year and it's continued to produce flowers. Uh, I'll uh, probably get to that a little later. Um, but just waiting some things. Now here is Erica's garden. She's got some cucumbers. We've got some squa uh, tomatoes. Uh, we um, picked these tomatoes, uh, a couple of these, bought them, a rosemary, um, and some of these tomatoes are volunteers. This is a watermelon and a pepper, more tomatoes. Uh, we are trying to grow some kale and spinach and basil as well and mint, but the bunnies eat that. We have marigolds, but that those don't stop the bunnies. Here's the evening primrose. Uh, and this is the false spirea, sorberia, and it's doing well. Here's the, the corner garden. Uh, again, back to the primrose. It's an evening primrose, so it only blooms at night. Let's uh, check out the corner garden. Um, we've got various things growing in here. Um, the coleopsis is already passed, but we've got some asters coming up. There's even the poppy in there, and all these cornflowers, just uh, nice. Uh, here's the sorberia again. And uh, yeah, we got these grasses that have been very successful. Um, oh, is he in the window? Oh, the door. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, little doggy. Um, yeah, this grass needs a little help, but we'll, we'll, He's getting there. Um, these are the northern sea oats. Everything that we planted last year is very happy, and it's because we watered everything a lot back then, and the roots got really well established, and we've had good water this year. Those are the onions, um, and oh yeah, cardinal creeper. We've tried planting a couple of cardinal creepers that Erica grew from seed. Uh, here are the Mexican feather grasses, which is the real stunners. They grow so much every day. Oh, I love these um, little sea hollies. Beautiful oh, flowers. So cool. Yeah, everything's just very happy. What can I say? Uh, the weather, the water has been real nice, and we've been doing our best to water everything. Here's that feather grass again. Um, some geraniums. The little dwarf um, spirea really is a little miniature and yeah that's those feather grasses again look at this it's just uh, quite a sight really um, yeah I would love to have more of these grasses and in the back here is where a lot of the action has been with these yellow yarrow um, yeah, quite a shocking color. The cat mint has already come through quite a bit. Um, but yeah. I know. Oh, here's our new hose setup, which highly recommend getting a hose reel and yeah. getting yeah. this. Yeah, they're really, it's really big. Oh, here are the, um, what are those? I don't know, some sort of cone flower, echinacea, yeah, that's it. And then Erica got this cool um, trellis to grow vines up, but uh, the cardinal creeper is not really taken off yet. So here's the front garden where uh, we got a volunteer squash growing, some purple asters in the back. And in the front we tried planting a bunch of seeds that I collected last summer. Uh, here's a volunteer tomato. Nothing really has taken off. It's just crabgrass. Here's some old things. Uh, hydrangea. Some lilies that are about to bloom. And another squash. And some more crabgrass. Maybe the seeds will succeed. Um, so I did this thing with the lawn. Kind of saves me some time, but it's a great bunny habitat. The bunnies like to eat the ends of the grass. This side of the lawn, you know, I got some geraniums uh, over here, but nothing, you know, not really managing this as much. Uh, there's a rain barrel. Sorry, I just lost 
past that. Um, yeah, I might still mow this, but I just didn't. Here is the back garden where we have some seeds not growing, uh, but there's some milkweed and a watermelon, which we did plant. We did plant this watermelon, which is great news, uh, but there's another squash and the compost. Uh, here's a new compost pile. Um, there's a bunch of squash. Uh, yeah, like there, there, here for sure. Uh, I guess this is, I think this is just, I don't know what's growing here. I don't know, you're just trying to keep out the weeds and all the compost, we're trying to encourage squash. And if you're not taking out those weeds, uh, here's the strawberries. Yeah, they're like, okay. Ooh. They're a little juicy. Yeah, they get like real small. I don't know. They're not very big plants yet. Not really well established. We kind of like purchased them right in the middle of the season. So, um, but they're cool. I like them. Who doesn't like a strawberry? More squash, uh, another side bed, and um, a volunteer tomato. There you have it.